Simo! What's going on guys, it's Simo, and welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday, a weekly series where we look at some broke-ass cards from the anime and apply them to the current meta. Now this week's card is Spell Sanctuary, and for those of you who don't know what this card does, I'll go ahead and let Kaiba explain. I'll activate a magic card! Does it look familiar? It's Spell Sanctuary! Yes, and it lets us both move one magic card from our deck to our hand. Really? Like, really? Do we really need a Rota for spell cards? Like, okay, to be perfectly honest, we've talked about Left Arm Offering before. The Left Arm Offering, in the context of Throwback Thursday, was a trap card and requires you to discard all of your hand before you get the search. Spell Sanctuary is literally Rhoda for spells. Like, as, uh, like, okay, aside from the fact your opponent gets a spell, which is pretty much irrelevant, and I'll explain why later, have you ever wanted to just say, hmm, you know, I really wish I just had more access to Soul Charge, Regeki, Clash of the Draco Rivals, uh, Wavering Eyes, uh, Instant Fusion, like, there are so many good spells in the game that the fact that you just have another card to basically tutor them out and make them more accessible is way too fucking good. And the fucking fact that it's like, oh, your opponent gets to search a spell too, so it's not that good. Well, if you make Naturia Beast turn one, it doesn't matter what the fuck they search because they're not going to be able to use it because Naturia Beast will lock them out from using it anyway. And just the fact being that you can just search any spell, even if you're not making the Naturia Beast lock, the turn that you use that, they're not going to be able to use the spell, but you can. So that could be the one card you need to win the game that turn. And so basically, that search can be completely irrelevant in that context. And I didn't even get into the second effect that this card has. I mean, fuck. So in the Japanese version of the anime, this card actually has a second effect. Well, I mean, it technically has the second effect anyway, but you can actually read it because in the Japanese anime, they actually show the full text of the effect rather than just greening it out and putting the spell symbol in the middle. So the second effect that this card has is that you can use all spell cards as quick plays. Wrap your fucking head around that. Oh, that's a really nice board you've assembled there. It'd be a shame if I just flipped this fucking Regeki over during your turn. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Spell Sanctuary. Like, the sheer amount of just pure bullshit you could get away with with this card is pretty disgusting. And I know, like I said, your opponent gets to add a spell too, so they get like a free plus one. But at the same time, if you're playing the game correctly, you shouldn't be either allowing them to play it, or you should be winning that turn. Essentially just making it so that you get all of your combo pieces, or whatever that one card is you need, to basically just ensure that you're going to wrap up the game from there. Thank you all so much for watching the video, we'll see you next week. See you next!